eating disorders much. <laughs> okay, we're rolling. Okay. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, my name is Bob Mann. This is my sister, Candace Andrews. And, hello. hello. Um, our mom, uh, Gwen Andrews, was a cookbook author for some of her books. Uh, her first book was Impromptu Cooking. Picture of mom. There she is. Um, turning, guaranteed to turn nervous Nellies into ad lib gourmets. Um, mood food, a galaxy of feasts to calm you down, cheer you up, warm your cockles, excite your palate. Cockles, <laughs> right? Okay. Comfort, soothe, and delight you. And this is actually, we're going to be cooking something out of this one. Mood food. Mood food. We'll get back to that. Uh, food from the Heartland. And then the only thing that's still in print is actually Encyclopedia Brown Takes a Cake. And it's a, a book that she did uh, with uh, Donald Sobel, who wrote, uh, the author of many, many Encyclopedia Brown books. And it's the one they did as a collaboration with uh, Mystery and Cooking. And I helped a lot with that one. I did. You did? Okay. Yeah, because I was an Encyclopedia Brown expert. Oh, wow. Cool. Um, so what we're going to do today is uh, it's Thanksgiving. And... We are not going to do the traditional turkey thing. No, no turkey. No turkey. Um, what we're actually going to do is, is cook out of page 59, Bolsagani Kufti. That's her favorite page. Um, I remember being 59 fondly. Uh, <laughs> actually, it's, a, it's an Armenian dish that, um, for me, when I remember eating it, I remember it as just the most warm filling, and Happy. it's almost like, yeah, just, it's funny that a food could actually induce a, a mood, because I remember eating it, and I would just be like, ah, and so that's what we're going for today, is the, ah. Did you, did you have that for your birthday? Because I always have for, yeah, here's my the deal, food. we grew up in a working kitchen. We would never have the same thing twice in a year, so mom was always working on her cookbooks, and so we would try things. Some oh. of the times... They were not as good as others, but on your birthday, you could request anything you want. For me, my recurring thing Birthdays was a uh, chicken Kiev. And so I'd, I'd had it at the, uh, the first time I'd ever had it was in the Russian tea room in New York. Um, and so that was the thing that mom would put together, and she would let me know how much work it was, but she would still do it. And for you? It was um, blueberry pancakes or blueberry blintzes for breakfast. Right. And, uh... Right. You got... Like multiple meals for Either. choices? Oh, Either okay. Or. okay, okay. And uh, yeah, birthdays were good. Birthdays were good. Because usually we didn't see mom for the breakfast type of time of the day, aka morning. Yeah. Um, but then it would be, I don't know what we would do for lunch. For me, it was probably a couple peanut butter and jellies. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but for dinner, it was always busag and cookie. Perfect. And as time goes on, I have a great story to tell about uh, my making the sodden cookie for Christopher Reeves. She's dated some brothers of people who were... Yeah, the brothers of famous people. I had yeah, a summer. There's a, a, summer mo like there's a that. movie about that somewhere. So. All right, so um, let's get started cooking. All right. Um, well, I also think we should say uh, a cheers okay. to Mom. Mm -hmm. um, today we're having mimosas. And coffee. If it were a real... If it were a real tribute to mom, this would be a gin and tonic. Right. Or just gin. I guess <laughs> and tonic. Gin and tonic. Here's to you, mom. Bless Cheers. Bless you. Chin chin. Chin. Yeah, what she said. Salud! Oh. Okay. All right, so I don't have my glasses on. Um, I can put them on and read Okay, them. so I'll read the cookbook here. All right. Balsagan Kufti. This Armenian supper is one of the very favorite dishes of all three of my children. We have a sister who's not here today. Katie, this is for you too. You think Katie's watching this? I think she's turned this off by now. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so it's a favorite of all three of my children, even the ones who tend to be difficult about food. Me. I don't mind it a bit myself, and my husband gobbles it down with the best of them. It's an egg and lemon uh, broth. Uh, principle carried to full meal heights, and it's fairly easy to cook and unbelievably easy to eat. A oh, soother par excellence. May I interrupt? Yes. Because I already have. Yeah. 
Mom's cookbooks were uh, very well known and well recepted for, well received, because she told stories in every recipe. Right. This one actually doesn't have that many stories, but um, like the recipe for carrot soup, turns out it's all about the French Revolution. Or of course, because when I think about carrots, carrot I think soup. about the... Who yeah. doesn't? Right. Yeah. yeah, but every story uh, tells, a, tells a meal. Mm. Or so I guess as you're cutting the carrots, right. you say, off with their heads? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The guillotine. Right. Yeah. Right. But this one doesn't really have a great story, except we know from family legend that this recipe originally came from the New York Times International Cookbook. Yeah, we believe so. We've not been able to find it, and uh, it, we did a Google search, and the only Google hit that came back was when I posted this on a, on a Twitter account. I actually have a Twitter account of um, some of Mom's recipe cards, and it's Mom's recipe cards at Twitter. And it's been sitting woefully uh, oh. without anything new for a while, so I'll have to start throwing some more stuff up there. Please. So Please. let me just kind of finish here. So it has the uh, the recipe and how to do it, but then it, it closes with, Balsamin Kupti is soothing in more than one way. It has a strange beneficial effect on the nervous si system, to be sure. Also, though, the fact that ground lamb is usually one of the most inexpensive meal meats around? Has no. It used to be. <laughs> its own calming effect, at least on the person who does the shopping. Okay, so, let's just start pulling out the stuff and I'll start telling you what, what we've got here. Okay. So we start with okay. one half pound ground lamb. Oh gosh, okay, well, this, this is a lesson in um, preparedness. That's the freezer that I just pulled this out of. But now we're going to see how okay, to Okay, we're going to thaw and come back in just a minute. Oh, can you 